the SPACE project, so that stands for Supportive Environments for Physical and Social Activity, Healthy Ageing and Cognitive Health. And it's really all about how where we live and how we live can promote better brain health. So one of the particular innovations of this project is, is taking what we call a, a, a system science lens to it. So that is looking not just at one particular factor, such as air quality, but a number of different factors and what those interactions are. We have two devices here which we set up for the participants. The first one being a GPS tracker and the second one being what we call an accelerometer. We can use those two sets of data, we can almost merge them together to find out whether people are doing physical activity in a green space or an urban space. Uh, and then we can then use the data we have from the cognitive assessments to try and find links between the two. So essentially my team's role in the space project is to explore how those environmental stressors really get under the skin. We're particularly interested in looking at epigenetics, so really teasing out the explanation between what people inherit from their parents and what the environmental stressors are. I'm responsible for Work Package 2, which is really linking environmental data to the NICLA longitudinal data set. It's really important to have the lived experience there and I, I think that's one of the, the key parts of the research. The Queens are very keen to have the voice of all stakeholders but particularly older people so that we can align what the evidence is saying to the experience of people here in Belfast. We aim to have academic publications of course but ultimately it's much better to be able to impact upon policy. So if we can show impact from our research that interacting well with your environment promotes brain and cognitive health then we would hope to be able to implement that in policy. All good research is based on what has come before, what are the needs, what are the gaps and it was those gaps and opportunities that allowed us to, to really develop the space project. The population is ageing, but it's more important to add quality to extra years rather than to have sickness in the last years of your life. Really critical to have money available for this sort of research because it's what's providing the evidence base for future urban planning. This project wouldn't have been possible without the funding from the UKRI Healthy Ageing Challenge. It's really been fundamental to allow us to put together this ambitious three-year programme of work. Mm -hmm.